Hiya guys and welcome back to Wade's Workshop. So, let me say at the outset, there's going to be no machining of metal in this video. It's going to be a review video on a smart digital multimeter. Okay, so we've got that out of the way. If you don't want to watch it, um, obviously there will be more videos. Right, so smart digital multimeter. Um, why did I want a multimeter first of all? Well, I've got a multimeter. I've been using it for... Yeah, I suppose I'd buy a new multimeter every four or five years. Um, so I've got this sort of budget range um, of... I, I probably shouldn't say the make, but uh, budget range multimeter. Now, what I do find is that um, it's the only multimeter I've got. Um, I use a multimeter in work, and I use a multimeter at home here in the workshop. And you can guarantee when I want a multimeter at home, this thing's in work, and when I want it in uh, in the workshop at home, you know, opposite and what have you, it's never where I want it. So I thought, let's get a new multimeter anyway. So weirdly, I was thinking of buying another multimeter, probably something like this, uh, when I was approached by this company called Kai Wheats. Now they sell stuff on Amazon. So I got an email come through. They'd obviously saw that I was doing bits and pieces of electrical work in my workshop. And they reached out to me and said, would you like us to send you one of our multimeters for review? So, <laughs> answer simple, yes I would. So anyway, I looked at the pictures and uh, the spec on what they intended on sending me, and it looked far smarter than any multimeter I'd ever had. Um, so I've, they've sent it to me. It came through from Amazon, uh, probably two days after the email, which was on a weekend anyway. And this is the box it arrived in. So, usual black packet. Um, there we are. That's the multimeter. Okay, well packaged in the cardboard box. So, uh, let me bring you in a bit closer. Obviously, I've already had it out of the box before, but I'll bring you in a bit closer and show you what arrived. So, as I said, I have had this out of the box before. We were on the green mat here, so I can see you can, uh, you can see it. I've uh, focused on the green mat. So yeah, cardboard box, user manual in several languages, um, it's all here, so yeah, all the instructions, everything you're going to need, what the smart, uh, smart mode is all about, it, you know, for continuity resistance, AC-DC voltages, all of it's there, uh, capacitor measurements, you know, it, everything is there, basically, all the instructions you're going to need. So, first thing I do like, um, good solid case for the multimeter um, it feels like I could probably drop it from you know five or six feet up what have you and uh, not have a problem if it was in my pocket what have you or in the kit bag and got banged so this unit itself looks a bit like a mobile phone uh, good solid case now it did come with the batteries I've ref I have fitted the batteries uh, oh, no, I can't remember offhand. Was it two or three? Anyway, it was AA cells, not the normal 9 volt pack. Um, so, yeah, um, pretty much all of us have got, uh, no, AAA cells. Got AAA cells hanging about. Um, whereas a 9 volt pack, when it does run out, you've got to go and get one. So, yeah, that's the basic unit. It does come with a light on the back. Let me just switch it on. Here we go, it's in uh, in auto, so that could be any one of either bolts, resistance, or the beep test. Um, but if I push this button, and as you can see, I'll try not to flash the camera out, it does have a light, which something I haven't had before on a multimeter, but you're always in that position where you can't see down into a dark hole in a cabinet or what have you. So having the light on is great. So let me just switch that off. Okay. Um, I'll just switch the meter off again. So, yeah, I mean, it seems fairly robust. It's all pretty straightforward on the instructions and what have you. Or on the uh, writing on the control panel. Leads seem fairly good quality. They do have the um, little shrouds on the leads. And they do click into place rather well. I've seen these things fall off regular, but they... They positively click in to give you the fine point or, you know, the greater length point. So that's a good thing. I like that. Um, other end of the leads, um, they do come with these little plugs in the end when you get them. Um, that's satisfying sound. Um, 
Right, one thing I've found with multimeters in the past is that the leads keep coming loose, but these, they're actually a nice, nice fit, you know, and they don't look like they're going to come loose on you and sort of keep falling out when you least expect it, and you, you know, you're uh, looking for closed circuit, and yeah, that's closed circuit, but it turns out one of your leads has popped out. So that's good. I do like the leads. They look fairly sturdy and robust. Um, what else? Oh, something that's interesting that I've found on it by playing with it. Let me just pull these leads back out again. Um, I will show how low the beeper is in a minute. So we'll turn it back on. Um, so function, obviously we're in the smart area at the moment, the green. So we got volts AC, DC, uh, whichever, it'll auto-find. Uh, we've got resistance, we've got the beeper. Um, we'll have to come back to the beeper. Diode test, uh, capacitor test, uh, hertz percentage, for that sort of thing. Temperature, centigrade or Fahrenheit. Uh, we've got amps, um, NCV live, not sure. Anyway, if I scroll through, so we're volts there, ohms, beep test, all the way through and I go through to amps you can see the flashing lights let's do it again let's go back down one so normal functions you use the common the black lead in here and everything else in this one but when you're doing an amps test uh, I think you do it well it does do up to 10 amps at 240 volt or 250 volt so I'll <coughs> excuse me it's quite cold in the shed here tonight so if I click to amps it actually lights up the two pins as you can see if I go back these would be the two you use so I've never seen that on a multimeter before um, so yeah I mean it, it literally does everything um, well not everything you know so also comes with the thermocouple with the two leads and the little thermocouple for measuring temperature on the surfaces what have you um, most multimeters or many of the ones I've had come with these um, don't use it that often but it's there um, right okay how loud is the beep um, that's always handy so let's just plug back in let's go on the beep test have we got circuit haven't we got circuit let's go down there we are the audible test so obviously I'm not sure how well this will show up on camera and also, a light on the top. See the light there? That's good. We like that. We do like that. Um, more than loud enough to hear. Um, resistance. Let's have a look. Let's see if the leads measure zero, which you'd expect. Closed circuit. They do, in fact, measure zero. Let's just touch them together. They do. Oh, there's a temperature reading on here as well, I haven't noticed. It's 14 degrees here in the shed at the moment. 14 degrees C. That's cool. Um, what else can we have a look at without sticking my probes into the mains or what have you? Let's have a look at... Uh, oh, resistance. We're on resistance. What sort of resistance have I got across me? Three and a half mega ohms. Three point four mega ohms resistance in me, and obviously greater than two hundred, more than likely. Okay, um, let's see if I put out any voltage today. So let's see. Um, well, standard form, nothing connected. Zero volts. Yeah, zero volts. Let's see what voltage I'm putting out. Ooh, 45, 50 millivolts, 60 millivolts. Yeah, my electrical system is working well. 68, 70 millivolts. <laughs> there we go. So, yeah, I mean, it's fairly accurate. Uh, just ground those out. Should be zero, yes. It's, it's great. Um, I like it. I like the big display. That's cool. So that's the uh, Kai Wheats 
smart digital multimeter. Again, uh, yeah, I like it. It's uh, it's <laughs> what I do like about it is the display is big um, because being of a certain age and having to wear glasses and what have you, I do find uh, that the smaller multimeters, you know, I've got to put the backlight on and what have you, but this is clear as day and I think you could see it from a distance as well, uh, which um, even at an angle it, it still shows up because you're never looking straight down on it, are you, when you're uh, stuck in a hole or in a cabinet somewhere. Um, whereas I find that the normal sort of liquid crystal displays that you get on uh, many multimeters, such as the one I've got at the moment, unless you're looking sort of square on at it, um, you know, you can't quite see it properly. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's clear as day, isn't it? You know, it's there in great big letters. Uh, so, uh, when they do one in Braille, it'll be even better, wouldn't it, for me? <laughs> anyway, so that said, um, I will put a link in the description. Hang on, I've cut the top of my head off here. We shall reset this shot. So that's better. I've got a top of head now, so I haven't been uh, decaffeinated. <laughs> I know what the real word is. So, yeah, I am impressed, guys. Um, obviously, I don't know how long it'll last. This is one of my first impressions, but first impressions really good and again i like the big display i like the clear display everything's there as much as you'd expect on any sort of standard multimeter as it were so yeah link in the description guys now i have asked um in fact this morning when i'm videoing this if i could get some sort of discount code for you guys so obviously i haven't had a reply on the email um yet but if i do get a discount code code <laughs> i will put that in the description as well but don't hold your breath on that one uh, i'm just happy that i've got a multimeter and happy to do this review because it does seem really good that's it thanks for watching guys if you made it this far thanks for subscribing and we will see you all very soon cheers now